Hello everybody, welcome to my podcast today. This is Goaded from Goaded Sports Cards. How are y'all doing today? I hope you guys had a nice Easter. Uh, it was definitely a great time for me and my family. I uh, got to watch some games as well. I'm being, I've been up to date on the finals and the finals are definitely going crazy. A lot of things are happening that should be happening and a lot of things are happening that should not be happening but we'll get to that later um today i wanted to talk to you about a few of the players that i pc um you know my personal collection of cards that um i have that i pc for myself like what players like what teams um what rookies am i looking at right now you know just a little bit of that and um We're definitely going to get into it and talk about it and have some fun. Thank you guys for joining in the podcast. Uh, Definitely love your support. Um, So please stay tuned for some more awesome content. Like all the time, I'm I'm making stuff for you guys so you can enjoy and I could share the love of what I do with y'all. Now, getting into my first prospect, I'm going to start with this man. He's been going off the charts lately. And everyone is talking about him in the NBA. His name is Anthony Edwards. Yes, I'm going to say it again. His name is Anthony Edwards. He plays for the Minnesota Timberwolves. And he's been doing some amazing things. Um, He was a rookie last year with LaMelo. Um, they They were at it for the rookie of the year spot. And you know what? I love LaMelo. You're my guy. But Ant Man should have been rookie of the year. You came off of an injury, and you came back just to play in the last couple games, um, and you probably shouldn't have played, and you didn't go to the playoffs. I definitely thought that Anthony Edwards was the top contender, because LaMelo did get hurt, he was gone, and Anthony Edwards was just doing amazing things, he was doing dunks, he was getting steals, he was making his name for himself like before this season, so everyone knew he was going to be a standout player this year. Um, super underrated on the Timberwolves. Timberwolves are a very underrated team, but they definitely got a little squad together uh, with Jaden McDaniels. Of course, they got Carl Anthony Towns and Patrick Beverly. is a beast. But um, yeah, so Anthony Edwards is also is my first PC at the moment. Um, what I'm collecting of his right now specifically are uh, Mosaic. Uh, His mosaic rookies, the National Pride, Colored, Honeycomb, Green, Pink, all silver mosaic. Uh, That's what I have right now, and that's what I'm collecting. They're really nice cards. I know a couple of my buddies had got their hands on a few uh, of their Genesis's, his Genesis mosaic, which is going for a pretty penny right now. And um, a few of my friends were able to get them slabbed up. And um, a PSA 9 and a PSA 10 amazing just amazing if you get the chance look up a psa 9 psa 10 anthony edwards national pride genesis i promise you i promise you you're gonna see some amazing artwork on that really love that card super super amazing um like i was saying right now i also pc Lamelo ball he was my first pc before anthony edwards but anthony edwards uh he just showed me out um when i first started getting into collecting I ripped a lot of uh, contenders, Panini contenders draft picks, and Panini uh, Panini draft picks prisms, looking specifically for the full Lamelo Ball auto. Now he signs his autograph with an MB, which a lot of other players do. So I believe Miles Bridges actually signs his MB as well. But um, in those set, in the set of contenders and in the set of draft picks. He signs his full name, and I think it's more authentic that way. Um, Some other people would say different, but hey, that's just me. I would love to have his auto one day signed out LaMelo Ball, not MB. That is one of my goals, and hopefully I'll get there one day. Uh, I talked to a couple collectors on Instagram who I saw that they had it, and I kind of reached out to them just telling them how much I love that grail. And um, hopefully, if you guys still have it in the future, I'll definitely take it off your hands. Don't forget about me, y'all. 
LaMelo Ball full auto from his rookie year. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now getting back to my PCs. Tyrese Maxey. I'm starting to collect Tyrese Maxey as well. I knew the 76ers were going to be a great contender for the East this year. Um, James Harden. James Harden just joined them, so I know that James Harden's going to definitely be a, a, a big asset on the team, and he has been. And um, I believe I believe they could definitely take it this year. I definitely believe um, they lead the series right now 2-0 against the Raptors. Um, possible sweep. Possible sweep. You never know. It could be a possible sweep. But um, Tyrese Maxey is very showing out for the team. And he's showing that, like I said, the 76ers are a, a top contention team. And we'll see how that goes. I'm calling it a sweep, guys. What do you think? You think you think the Sixers are going to sweep the Raptors? That's what I think. Now, getting back to more, more players. Um, I'm also... I'm also looking for Cade Cunningham right now. Um, his team for the Pistons, they didn't make it to the playoffs. But he's an amazing rookie. He showed off when he came back off of his injury. He showed that he's a good player and he's a team player at that. And I really believe that Cade Cunningham is going to do some amazing things. Also, Jalen Suggs. Jalen Suggs was on the Rockets. He also showed out. He had a little show out year. And um, he definitely uh, did his thing. Um, the Rockets unfortunately didn't get it, didn't get to the playoffs. Um, but there's always next year, and we'll see how that goes. Um, very young team. Uh, I believe, I believe they could show out maybe in a few years from now. Let those kids grow and uh, play and get better. So yeah, definitely. Uh, the Warriors. Let's get to the West now. The Warriors are leading the uh, the series in a two and zero against the Nuggets. I know Jokic has been balling out, trying, trying to get past Draymond and, and uh, Jordan Poole and, 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 and Chef Curry. They're mixing it up on the floor. I believe the where the Warriors could also um, sweep, sweep them under the rug. Definitely. Definitely think they could uh, beat that. They just have too much talent on that team. They got three gods and freaking Draymond Green used to be defensive player of the year also Jordan Poole is having a show out year this year as well um he's really 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 get getting to it um like I said he's really showing out and I believe that they're uh I believe that they're uh going to have him starting as well and um Jordan Poole, I know a lot of y'all are collecting Jordan Poole right now. Y'all know he's having a show out year. So let's see how far the Warriors could take it. Let's see if they could get um, to the top spot this year and, and, and lead the lead the West in a championship. But the Suns look very, very good as well. Playing against the Pelicans, they lead the series 1-0. and um, That's going to be a good series. Don't sleep on the Pelicans. Um, Brandon Clark and those guys are going to do some work, so... Don't sleep on them. Suns, great team, but Pelicans, do not sleep on them. Uh, the Mavericks and the Jazz are a one and one tied series. Jalen, uh, Jalen, I believe it is Brunson. Uh, I don't know your first name, sir. Sorry, Brunson. But Brunson had a show out ye- uh, game yesterday, scoring 41 points. Luca's out uh, with an uh, injury. I don't believe he's going to be playing for another week. So, if y'all could beat the Jazz without Luka, wow, wow, that would be amazing. I would definitely be that would definitely be an underdog team, a very underrated team. And if y'all win, that'd be amazing. That would be amazing if y'all make that spot. Uh, the Grizzlies and the Timberwolves are one and zero. The Timberwolves they play again today. Uh, Timberwolves holding them down, holding down the Grizzlies at. Uh, in uh, in Minnesota, I believe so. It's they're gonna have a nice home game, and I believe I'm I'm gonna say the Grizzlies are gonna lose that game. Timberwolves got it all day, um, easily, easily. John Morant, another one of my uh, collections. Uh, I collect John Morant frequently as well. He's one of those players that I've been following since 2019. Uh, 
Keep your eye on him. Keep your eye on Desmond Bain as well and Brandon Clark. They're really showing out for the Grizzlies, putting in work, and um, we'll see if they could defeat the uh, the Timberwolves today. Like I said, I don't think they will, but it's a high possibility. John Moran, those guys are doing amazing. Jaron Jackson had seven blocks his last game. Seven blocks. That's like some Shaq stats right there. Now, don't quote me on that, but seven blocks, is that's a big deal. That's a lot of blocks in a game. So, Jaron Jackson, I believe he he's a very good defensive player, and I... I just recently started collecting him as well. Um, like I said, don't sleep on Jaron Jackson. He's a great defensive player. You'll see. We'll see in today's game. See how they do to Gay today. And um, let's see what happens and how they get to it. Everybody's going to get to it today. I know everyone's really gunning for those spots in the playoffs. And it's going to be great. I'm definitely going to watch the games today. See how everything goes. And hopefully they make some spectacular plays today that I could talk about and hopefully clip. Well, it was nice having y'all on today. I love y'all guys. You're an amazing audience. Can't wait to make another one and get you some more interesting facts and things like that so we could all learn and grow and enjoy together. Now, this is Goaded from Goaded Sports Cards. Uh, thank you for joining the podcast. We're all goaded here, and that's a wrap.